Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, um, I did take, I was, re like after the last episode I recorded another episode that I'm not going to show you because it was a, it was the blackout mission uh, that I said we were going to take and there ended up being no enemies for the first uh, base and then we got a second base and then there was this really old Holopolis a Phoenix, um, and a couple of vehicles. I can't even remember what they were. But we trashed them pretty easily, and it was really boring. And I didn't really have time to do another mission. And then I didn't want to take time to, like, outfit the Griffin because I would have to wait a while for it to be back and stuff. So I just figured I trashed that one. Uh, we got our mechs and pilots back. So we're going to go ahead and take another mission today. Uh, so this one we're going to take here. We're going to take the recovery mission today, I think. The one skull for Rasselhag. Uh That should get us our proper, well, our rep up to the next level. So I'm hoping that happens because then we may go ahead and take this one. I wanted to take training day, but then that's, we're using pilots that aren't ours. So I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if we're really, I mean, if we had the Holopolis, maybe when it comes back, we might take this one. The ambush convoy and see if we can do this one. Um, but right now we need C-bills. So we did make C-bills on the last mission, which is good because we can make our financial report now. So let's go ahead and take this guy here today. Uh, go full out like this. I made one tiny change to the mechs, just so you know. The Cephalus had a, a um, tandem Rocket 5 on it, and I just switched it to a normal Rocket 5. Because I just figured the tandems weren't doing enough internal damage, and I would rather blow through armor, I think, to open them up for other... Um, other units um, than to just take the decreased external damage from the uh, Tandem 5. So that's the only minor change we made. Anyway, uh, everybody's ready to go, so let's do this. Command interface <coughs> All right, well, here's the facility. And it's on the coast. Jungle, eh? All right, not bad. Just goes to show how much I read the missions before. <laughs> Before I set down. And it looks like we got defenders. Nice. That means more than one lance. So let's get... I usually like starting over here. It provides us optimal amount of cover. But yeah, I think that's probably good. So we probably got a lance here. And then most likely... Um, a second one dropping in over here probably. Probably. Maybe. Let's go right here. Looks good to me. Gives us some options. I think we'll take the high ground. Normally I do a double sweep, one, one around here, one around here, but with the Cephalus being so fast, I don't really have to worry about pushing the base because like one or two turns and we're in there, so. Yes, Commander. All right, let's get up the hill with what we got. So what are we dealing with here? Oh, uh, there's five units here. Line holder, Panther, SM1, another Panther. Ultralight carrier, LRM. All right. Maybe we can get some uh, LRM LRM carrier parts today. Uh, stay in the trees. Stay in the trees. Because that LRM carrier is going to shoot at us probably. We might as well uh, reduce as much damage as possible Onward. before we start the fight. And we'll get you up here. See if we're dealing with anybody else. Are we... Who are we fighting? Karita. So why is it... Oh, they've got a support lance. So there's more than... Uh, Five here. So we're dealing with eight, probably. I wonder what you're carrying. LRMs. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like a lot of LRMs, though. One. LRM 15, maybe? Yeah. I was going to say it was a pair of tens, but I think it's probably just a 15. Um... Sure, it's going to take us a bit to get up here, so. I don't know if I want to lob one of these Thunderbolts just yet, but what's the chance to hit this guy? 34! It's not, well, I mean, it's not really a kill shot, but it is if we hit the side. Let's take a shot at him. If we can take him out early, that'd be nice. That was a front hit, of course. You know... I always make jokes about, oh, yeah. oh, you know, shoot at the front, hit at the side, shoot at the front, hit at the side, and normally that's what happens. Oh, I could, could take this back shot. 
It exposes me to everybody, though. So here's the thing. That early back shot is nice, as long as I can follow it up with a couple more shots from other guys, but I don't know when this guy's going. So if he goes next and he turns around, then the, all the damage I've done to his back is wasted because I, I don't, not, probably not going to be able to apply anymore. So, let's get into here. On the move. Yeah, I'm always saying like, oh, shoot at the front, hit, you know, hit the side, shoot at the front, hit the side. There's a guy over here now too. Jenner, okay. And this time I shoot at the front and hit the front. Because, you know, if I had hit anywhere else, I would have destroyed him, but... Firing on target. That's, you know, the total reason. Nothing. Alright, so probably the support lance is like 2 max, most likely. But we'll see. Orders. It's probably the line holder and the Jenner, if I had to guess. Um, it's actually not bad, but I don't think we can hit him with much, can we? Looks like it's outside the range of the medium lasers. Uh, mm, hmm. Like, we got the evasion, but it's the worst thing is, is that one hit, and it's over for us. So let's... Ooh, that's a back shot. So we're rockets only, probably. Let's get up here, position ourselves behind stuff here. Puts us in a good position to sprint go. down next turn, I think. And if not, we got to wait. We have the ability to flank on this side too, right? Yeah, so probably that second lance is just a 2 max. All right. Who's up? Jenner. All right, I'll run Jenner. That's all right. Ooh, if we can get the uh, the Zoria or the um. Okay, so these guys are shot pretty much now. If we can get the Zoria or the um, what's it called up here? We could take a shot at this guy. The Cloudbuster. SM1, what are you rocking? Probably a shit ton of machine guns and an AC5. If I had to guess. Hey. If I had to guess. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's get up here. It's only exposing to the vehicles at this point. That's alright. Uh, let's go with cluster. Wow, we hit this guy with the cluster. Yes, Commander. That's bizarre. Ah, uh, stay in the open, you can move faster. Ah, uh, let's get up All here. Right. Uh, we need a bigger engine in this thing. Or a mask. I'm ready. Are ya? Let's change this first before I forget. You know me. Alright, let's see if you can finish him off. Yeah, baby. That's pretty good. There you go. I mean, I'm not really afraid of that guy, but just guns off the field. Guns out the field. Let's do some work. Let's go to work. Uh-huh. What is up with this mech and, like, it's always reporting really terrible chances to hit? Then I get close and it's actually not bad. But it's just this mech. Maybe because it doesn't have any optics on it. Because, I mean, the Cephalus kind of does the same thing. But it's it's always different because the Cephalus gets really close, right? So, this line holder is the thing that's got me worried. Large laser, parallel, ah, it's not too bad. These guys are pretty standard. I shouldn't worry too much about them. Oh, MRM-10 and the ERPPC. That's a really nice Panther loadout. I kind of like that. In the original game, I would always go for the um, the the uh, large laser and the LRM-10 or a PPC and LRM-10. Just for range, so you didn't have to close with the enemy. Um, are we going to do this or not? Let's do it. Let's get in here. Copy that. Let's just get in here and do this shit. Yeah, that's garbage. 
Oh shit, this guy's got an Ultra 20. He has to die now. He goes on 10. It's a, probably a good thing I double check that. And I know this doesn't matter, but I'm going to put it at the top anyway. Uh, I'm going to leave the sensors off. And we're going to fire it all. Target lock on enemy rear. Okay, tag on. And a handful of damage. <sighs> well, at least the tag hit. What are you up to? Huh. Commander. Realizing you're in a bad position, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, this guy probably has electronics. That's probably why I can't ta target him. But then these guys don't. Oh man, what a tough choice. Um, I'm gonna get into here where the panther can't see me and hope... I mean, the panthers are slow, right? He's got a 4-6 movement. I don't think he's gonna be able to flank me from there. Yeah, if we keep the pressure up, he might just uh, think twice about it. Oh, come on! Target! There we go. Fire it all. Nice hits. Not where I wanted, I don't think. But nice hits. Yeah, I might as well spread it around, eh? Strip all of the armor. Okay, these guys need to stay back here. Because knowing this game like I do... You know damn well that the Ultra 20 is going to be shooting at the vehicles. On my way. Cloudbuster might be able to take a hit, but that Zoria is not. Oh, this guy's dead. Good night, sweet prince. Target lock. The difference the optics make, right? Ooh, he's still alive. Lots of Zoria. That's a Zoria hit. I'm here. That's a Zoria hit. Where are you? Can you get a line of sight on him without actually exposing to a lot of people? You can. Let's move up here. We'll get one Chevron of evasion, I think, won't we? Moving to position. How much do we get? Nothing. Uh, wait. We got two Chevrons for just moving one hex? Sure, man. Pilot, probably. Firing. Okay. Firing everything. There you go. You Ultra 20 out the field. Man, that could have been bad. I think I had pretty good armor too. Let's uh, get you into the fight finally. Understood. Moving fast. Let's get those guns on somebody. Line holder probably fifty one. Well, a little better on the Panther. Eight Z. Isn't the eight Z? Doesn't that is that the rifle version? I can't remember. Maybe it's the ERP version. Well, we got a better chance on this guy. We could probably do more damage. Let's go this way. Yeah. Alright. At least the Ultra's hitting. It's, uh... It's paying off because... I've been noticing it's been hitting a good deal. Oh, it's got a large laser. Um, it's been hitting hitting a good deal of its shots with the Ultra, so I feel better using that than the Medium, because the Medium was relatively reliable, but... At least we're hitting. Alright. Let's take that shot. That's actually pretty good. I want to try and save the salvage on this guy if I can. The ERPPC would be nice. MRM would be nice. Alright guys, come on. I should make this interesting. Let's go activate if we can. Oh wait, this is a recovery, right? Oh yeah, it doesn't matter then. Because it's grab the shit and get out. Yes, Commander. Grab the shit and get out. Beat the hasty retreat. Um. That's a flank attack for the gen. Well, maybe, maybe not. But the gen is LRM, so let's get in here. I was going to say uh, that if I move in here, it's it's a good uh, chance that the gen will try to loop around behind me. But it's a L it's the LRM gen, so. Oh, it's got a long fire and four medium lasers. Okay. I thought it had LRM-5s. 
No biggie. Uh, do we go for the kill? This is the yeah. This is the old version. We could just throw this up and go for the kill. How hot are we? Let's try. Yeah, fucking missed with most of the lasers. Of course I did. At least we pen. That gives us the opportunity for a kill right after this. So we're going to dart away and then come back and finish him off. So I'm going to ignore that panther for now with everybody else. There's no point. He's a dead man. You're a dead man! Jenna K. Need AMS on that tank. That's what we need. Hmm. I think we need to apply a little bit of pressure on this line holder. We got the armor to deal with this panther, so I'm not worried about that, but let's apply some pressure to this guy. Yes! Did we actually hit with that? It looked like we did. It's not reporting that we did, though, so we probably missed. Good thing that guy can't hit worth a shit. Awaiting orders. All right, kill Joy. Ah, let's pull it here. Let's make this panther sweat a little bit. I see you. We're gonna shoot this guy though. About the same chances to hit. We're gonna drop the sensors over there now because they're all clumped up. So, ah, use the tags on. Sensors. Actually, not a bad clustering for the sensors. Yes, I'll take on. that. Um. They can see you, eh? It's okay, we'll get in the trees. We can't do too, too much damage. But we're gonna go after this guy. While we have the chance to shoot through his side, we'll take it. Who's going now? Is it the... Line holder? Yeah, it is. Alright, well he's probably gonna change his sides around. Let's see what he does here. Nope. Still gonna give us the option. Maybe with the cloud buster, maybe. Hmm. It tickled. Yep. It's weird that he's like resorting to LRM fire. I'm finding and I don't know I've mentioned this in the past. I'm finding some of the mechs that have like smaller LRMs on them so they can shoot at a distance while they're closing with the enemy tend to take up the missile roll where they'll where they'll just stand back and I'm here. plink at you with the with missiles. And it doesn't make a lot of sense to me because it's like, you know, you'd expect them, to, like the line holders should be closing. That's where it would shine the best on us if it closed, but it's not doing that. Nice, both hits. At least somebody's hitting. The rest of us apparently aren't taking this seriously. Detected times seven times eight. I think that just gives us better sensors on them. Not necessarily a better chance to hit. But in a way, it, it does give you a better chance to hit, because if you're able to detect them easier, then things like not being in the line of sight, or or whatever you call it, gives you a better uh, chance to hit in the long run. Got the angle. The shot. Yeah, I see it. Enemy down. I love this cephalus. Aye, aye. It's a freaking glass cannon though, like, that's the wrong side. Doesn't really matter though. Does it really matter? That's more from the front, we'll take that one. The reason why it's the same thing as the backs, if you shoot from one side, then shoot from the other side, it's like you're not, like, if I started shooting from this side, most likely I would hit stuff that I haven't hit before, and I would rather try and shoot from the front or from this side to capitalize on the damage I've already done. It just makes more sense. Copy that. Which is why I stayed in the frontal arc this time. No way I can get to his side. Yeah, I can't get to his side from here. That's alright, though. 
That's all right. We're just going to back up a little bit. Confirm. Keep that panther unable to see us. And let's apply some more damage. Firing on target. Oh, that one hit the leg. Give up everything you've got. Solid connection on that one. Unsteady. And of course he gets to go now. Oh, okay. He's got his side turned to us. The wrong side, though. I'm showing minor damage. Uh, no, he's in a good position. I think he's probably fine. Oof, nice shooting. I think it might be time to pull this Cloudbuster back a bit more. I live to serve. They really love shooting the vehicles. Actually, can I go... See, like, he can see me, but I can't see him. I'm getting a lot of that. It's really hard to know where I should be moving when I can't see somebody, but somehow they can see me. And I kind of get it. Like, if my weapons are low-mounted, they could see my head, and I kind of totally get that. But if I'm in a vehicle with a turret, it's like, how can I not see you and you can shoot me still with a <laughs> direct fire? It doesn't make any sense. Yes! Bring in the pain. This just in. Critical hit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's up? Jenner. Jenner's the next Cephalus victim. See what he does. He's probably going to push forward and shoot LRMs on this guy, but we'll see. Oh, no. Oh, you little tricky bastard. Look at you. Now, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh, why would you do that? Why would you do... Why? Why? It's just such a... Roger. Yeah, let's try to finish up this line holder if we can. He gave us his side, so let's take it. Engage your target. He's only stressed. Right here. Only stressed. On my way. Come on, let's finish him off. Finish him off. Copy. There you go. Target pacified. Pacification process Waiting underway. Um. Hmm. go here all right we want parts from this guy so let's see if we can go like that sure oh we got the one that we did uh man <laughs> why it's really really <laughs> you get my hopes up by hitting the leg and then shred the rest of them fucking game <laughs> All right, um, all right, he's going right here. Go. Play the back game with this guy, because why not? Sup, Mr. Jenner guy, firing. Locking on. Just bail out. Standing by. Bail out while you got the chance, Mr. Jenner. Okay, Let's apply some pressure to this guy if we can. Not really. Apparently not. Standing by. All right, don't bother moving. Give us the best chance to try and take this leg. It's a little bit overkill. How much has it got? Well, the torso's already gone, so fuck it. Just go with it. Let's see how the leg fits. Nope, apparently not. I guess it was too easy of a target to hit with that large laser. Is that what it is? You need something a little more difficult? You did really well the last battle, I'll tell you. I'm impressed with how, how well that ER was hitting, but this one? Nothing so far. At least I think it's been nothing. It seems that way. Oh, you're finally getting your, la your lasers involved, are you? Light damage, Commander. Waiting for orders. Do you have my permission to return fire? Knowledge. Ooh, That's really? Really? Commander. Mm. Screw it, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Attacking from position. Yeah, not doing so well today with these guys. The hell? 
We definitely need better optics. That's the one thing that I will say that we have to do. Light damage. Holding firm. Thanks, Steve. Good to go. I can't get his side, huh? Oh, wait. Uh, we can get this side, though. Can I get it from... Let's see if we can take his other leg. Oh, wait, we haven't even got a leg yet, have we? Okay, if we're gonna shoot it, we're gonna shoot it all. Roger. Ooh, almost got his leg there. Got some SRMs on it though. Awaiting orders. Let's do the recovery. Moving out. While we wait for us to pull off the leg. So these guys are gonna target the Griffin now. Or the Wolverine, I mean. Four points, huh? Bring in the pain. <laughs> aye, aye. It's just, my pilots just seem really lazy today. Like, why are you guys so lazy? Get it done, for Christ's Hold sake. Back. Mission should have been over. Hammer him. On your pace. Oh, for... Are you kidding me? Somebody's in the background like, drag out, drag it out. Location confirmed. Drag the mission out. I know I shouldn't be like, trying just for salvage off this guy. I should just go for the kill, but I want the damn salvage. Right here. Okay, you can cut it out now. Targeting four and alpha strike. Critical hit, commander. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hopefully the Cloudbuster can finish that guy off. Actually, maybe I'll move the Cloudbuster back and see if we can take the leg off this, uh, this guy right here. I think the Panther's probably got the best electronics, so as long as we don't completely shred it, and of course now that I've said that. As long as we don't completely shred yep, it. Commander. Can't get a solid blue, huh? Not even gonna give me that solid blue, eh? Well, that's alright. That's alright. Got lots of resolve here, so let's go after him. Got it, Commander. Oh, there we go. Leg hit. Leg hit. It's unstable. All right, you're all right. She can't take much more. The asset is in hand, Commander. Good work. Thanks. Was there ever any doubt? Well, apparently, how we're, you know, with how we're shooting right now, there was, but. At this moment, there's not really that much doubt. Engaging. There you go. There goes the leg. Have a seat, buddy. A critical bail, bail, bail out. You know you want to. You know you want to bail out. Give it to me, give it to me. No. Commander. No. Take his leg. Take his leg, please. We're gonna run out of resolve before we take this guy's legs off. He just doesn't want to give it. He just doesn't want to give it to us. Although the other leg's pretty open, so. Giving him everything I've got. Oh, for fuck's sake! Just. Oh, wait! I take it back. Take out of SRM. That's all right. That's all right. We're good to go. Now we just need to. Oh, I was gonna say we just need to kiss that leg. But if there's any electronics, they're all gone now. Yes, commander. <sighs> because of course. Although this Jenner might have something. So let's go this. And this. And not hit what we want to hit. Because that's good. Oh, he bailed out. There goes all the electronics. Beautiful. Mission successful. Well, we're slowly getting there. I mean, yeah. We're slowly getting there. I got to figure out what to do with that griffin, though. We got to do something with it. Four parts of a Jenner, one part of a line holder, three Panther parts. Although this, I mean, upgraded the 10K, places the two SRM4 launchers with a single MRM10, an additional ton of armor. Ooh, there's a full tank destroyer here. Look at the armor on this, though. 221 in the front. What's the speed? 812? Are you kidding me? 
Oh. Do we take this? Because if we take the Tank Destroyer, we could drop the Zoria, throw this into play, and with the Holopolis, we might be able to take on that uh, um, two and a half skull ambush convoy. It, it's all going to come down to the accuracy. It's a clan. I, I don't think I can not take this. Let's just see what's down here, though. Ultralight carrier was what? LRM 15 Delta. Okay, ERPPC is there. The Ultra 20 clan is here, though. So, I mean, I guess that guy bailed out. We could take the XL for C bills, the Ultra 20 clan, the double heatsink kit. We got lots of double heatsinks, so we don't need those. And then what do we have that we've got? Two tons of Ultra 20 ammo, though, so it's not really a lot. I mean, it's a start. Or do we just go for the vehicle and then hope... Like, it's 812. Uh, but we can upgrade all the mechs, too, though. If our control system standard clan could go in something. There's an MRM-10 here. Which probably could replace the SRM-6 in the... Um, no, it can't replace the SRM-6 in the talent because we don't have any ammo. There is no ammo. Ah, let's just get the vehicle and just try it. The world is about trying things. Alright, Jenner part, Panther part, uh, ultralight carrier part, large laser will keep, the LRM-15 Delta, um, yeah, not bad, it's got a recoil though, but I don't think we're ever going to get in a chance that we're going to need to use that. Medium lasers will definitely keep, Ultra-20, we got it, and the MRM. Get rid of those guys. The Endo definitely going to keep. 245 will keep. The XL we're going to sell. Night. Oh man, we got a lot of good stuff. Ah, that can go. We got three of those. So that was pretty good. Three double heat sinks, 245 core, Ultra 20, MRM 10. We don't have any like, ammo, but at least we got the weapon. It's like two tons lighter than the regular Ultra 20, so. Yeah, man. All right. All right, no like, basic repairs at all, which is like bizarre, but I guess most of the damage went to the uh, the Cloud Buster, so we kind of got away with that. So I think what it would do rest for the rest of this episode is let's get the Hunchback, actually let's get the Griffin back. Hmm, do we do that or we just get, uh, what's the day of the month? So we got 1.4 million, so we're plenty good for two, day, two months, so... We could wait the seven days, get the Griffin back, load it out, take another mission next up. We take that con attack convoy mission next episode, I think. Let's bring that. Okay, I'm interested to see if that nice SM1 is only hole. got um, the two tons of ammo. Because if it does, it's going to be we dart in with it, take a shot, and dart out. Let's ready this guy. Interested to see here. Fusion engine, beautiful. Oops, vehicle bay, please. So here we go. Four, um, oh, it's double loads. Well, why did it say it was a single load? Oh, because they have single loads down here. That's why. We didn't get the double loads, but we got the single loads. So this thing is like ready to fight. Holy crap. So we got 12, 24, 34 rounds and 17 turns of firing. This thing is ready to brawl. Okay, let's move it up to the front. <laughs> I'm going to put you down here for now. Oh yeah, okay, so we're going to get the Holopolis back and then we're going to go after that convoy mission, I think. We try that. With the Ultra 20? Like, I mean... It's doable as long as we as long as we're landing shots like I see that I see that vehicle being used as dart in full speed fire off the two shots and then dart away so use it like the cephalus right dart in a couple shots go off 
Then it darts behind cover, so they have to use indirect fire against it. And then it can dart back in again, because it'll drop its recoil, drop back in the next turn and hammer again. Think that's how we use it? Definitely can't stay in the fight. But we'll, st yeah, we're going to, you know what? Yeah. So between episodes, I'll get this stuff back. I'm going to double check the Holopolis to make sure we're ready to go with it. And then I think next episode, we take that three skull or two and a half skull ambush convoy. See how it goes. But I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.